Now, next from us, we often hear about Britain's obesity crisis, but yet many, and particularly the elderly, are suffering because they're not eating enough. Research shows that one in ten over the age of 65 are malnourished or at risk of malnutrition. Sometimes the problem stems from loneliness and sometimes it's due to the wrong diet. Well, charities are trying to raise awareness of the issue and an organisation from Hertfordshire is tackling the problem head on. Derek Johnson has this. I'm a long while ago now, I'm afraid. A home visit for Kay and Arthur Wingate in Broxbourne from the nutrition team at Hertfordshire Independent Living Service. Take care, bye! Kay and Arthur have food delivered. For others, though, isolation and a lack of understanding that older people need more calories means senior citizens are suffering from or at risk of malnutrition, a problem that's costing the NHS billions of pounds. Malnutrition isn't just caused by a lack of food, it's caused by all the other social things as well. So Meals on Wheels can definitely help with the food. And we're really lucky, we have what we call nutrition boosts, so we can send out packs of extra food, soup, biscuits, cakes, and milkshakes as well, um, that can help people if they are losing weight through a lack of food. Christine Hudson's a lifelong healthy eater, but lost weight dramatically after a road accident and says older people like herself don't appreciate that they need to take in more calories. I don't think they realise. I think even when they think, well, it's because I'm ill, um, you've not got to think like that. Eating less is OK, but you have to eat the right foods. I've got to eat more protein stuff now. Protein is essential. This is another meal delivery service. In the kitchen, they prepare hot and cold meals, including roast dinners, with an emphasis on healthy eating. The issues are generally where people can't fend for themselves or they can't look after themselves as they become older, they might become more frail, but also it might be they might be incapacitated in some way as well. So by able to get a meal delivered in as part of a care package or some extra support, we know that they're getting a freshly prepared meal every single day to help them combat that malnutrition. Just as that person progresses or declines, it's usually the first thing to go is their appetite or it might be you know their ability to create that meal. Good morning, Elsie. Today, lunch is being delivered to Elsie Butler, who's 96 and lives in a retirement block, relying on these deliveries. I don't go shopping. You know, I have to have someone take me shopping. And um, I don't really like the food that I buy. I just add to it all the time. <laughs> I divide it into two and then I put five new vegetables every day, you know, into it. And I think that sort of keeps me going. Age UK says more work needs to be done to combat the myth that losing weight and becoming frail is normal as you grow older. Often it says it's just a sign of undernourishment, which is entirely preventable. It's calling on family members, even health professionals, to be more alert to the dangers of malnutrition, to its signs and symptoms. Derek Johnson, ITV News.